Good morning, it is early. It's four in the morning and I'm here at Manila International Airport Terminal 3 and today I'm flying with Singapore Airlines in the 787-1000 to Singapore. Let's go! Welcome back. It's uh, four in the morning here, and I've chosen to be up at this ungodly hour to fly on Singapore Airlines. To be fair, the terminal is really quiet. It isn't always though, as seen by this huge queue for economy. Luckily, I'm flying in business class, so the wait is a mere minute or so. Let's head to the lounge. One of my favorite lounges, but unfortunately not today. Singapore Airlines has its own lounge at Manila International Airport. For the size, it's pretty decent. Modern, different seating options, both private and not, a good variety of food, and was even impressed to find calamansi. That's to me and you, a Chinese lemon drink, which is sweet. And there's also this cool little display case with various items not for sale for Singapore Airlines souvenirs. So that was the Singapore Chris Lounge. Now it's time to board the flight. One thing that was appreciated is each boarding group has its own seating area. Naturally, Business Class and Star Alliance Gold are closest to the boarding area. Today's journey from Manila to Singapore will take roughly 3 hours and 40 minutes, covering in old money nearly 1500 miles or 2400 kilometers. If you're enjoying the video, please help us to bring you new journeys by hitting that subscribe and like button below. It would mean the world to us. Also, we plan to give it away in the mini ticket once we hit 1,000 subscribers. As you can see, the same seat is used throughout the plane. It gives a good level of privacy. Unfortunately, the privacy also blocks out a whole window unnecessarily when you're seated close to the plane wall and away from the window. I think this is a lost opportunity. Who wouldn't want two whole windows? The IFE in-flight entertainment is a good size, very responsive and visually attractive, with an extensive range of films, TV, music and a moving map. Unlike other Singapore Airlines business class products, the footwell is opposite you, which is a good start, but as you can see, it's a little on the narrow side. The tray table is very neatly folded and can be found underneath the IFE. The safety card and shop magazine can be found down below and to your right is these extremely cool controls for the seat, the quick TV on off function and for the lights. I'm just going to hydrate my voice with a refreshing welcome drink. There are other options but I fancy some water. Just above the side table is a somewhat small cupboard which is where you'll find some very decent and also comfortable headphones and plenty of charging ports. I never buy anything, but I usually have a browse for the magazine. You could always treat yourself to a Hello Kitty inspired set of four cats. Or, if your kids are misbehaving, you can dress them up and make them work the business class section as punishment. As for the privacy divider, I wish wasn't there. It has three clever LED lights built in, should you wish to read something in the dark. How exciting, time for the takeoff. See you after for breakfast. Here's a copy of today's menu. Before even the starter, you can have a bowl of fresh and juicy fruit, a sweet muffin, which comes with these very cute salt and pepper shakers. Obviously not for the fruit. As for the starter, I'm having a bowl of muesli with yogurt, dried fruit and nuts, and this cute little yogurt. I know I will be judged, but sadly I'm connecting in Singapore. So I have to take this opportunity and despite it being 10am in the morning, I have to try out a Singapore slip.
Very tasty, but it needed a little less alcohol. Already quite full, but eager, my main course was on the way. The braised egg noodle with char soup pork was as delicious as it looked and served on these square decorative plates. Perfect time to visit the loo. As you'd expect from a modern airplane, the toilet on the Boeing 787 was clean, modern, with blue lighting and amenities from Penhaligans of London. Lovely. Well, that was over quickly. So what didn't I like about the flight? Hmm. It was fine for three hours, but the footwell is probably quite restrictive on a long haul flight. And I did have to use the complimentary blanket, which was nice because the cabin was pretty cold. But otherwise, I had a great flight. Thanks so much, guys. Cheers. Amazing. Thank you. Bye. So that was my flight with Singapore Airlines from Manila in the 787. What an amazing flight, great crew, and the cabin crew were excellent. If you liked the video, subscribe and like below, and see you in the next journey.